Hi, this is Stephanie with Georgie Lou's Retro Candy. I wanted to make a short video to show you what goes into the window design when I do them. Um, we have our Alice in Wonderland windows in. This is the second time we've done Alice in Wonderland, and this is a little video to show you what goes into it. Uh, when I do windows, I like to start with a line drawing. Usually it's of the inside to block out where things will go. This time it was for the outside because I was going to be painting so that you could look through the scene on the outside into the scene on the inside. And this is what it was supposed to look like. This is after a day's painting. Uh, you can see it's uh, blocked out in white interior eggshell latex paint. So I had a nice background and the colors would pop when I started layering them on the inside. And everything's kind of there. And this is a detail of a day's painting on this section. Um, you can see some of the details starting to come in, but there were things I didn't like, like the highlights on the mushrooms. I didn't put the, high, the detail yet on the teal ferns. I had to go back and work on this some more. And this is the finished product. You can see the highlights been knocked back on the mushroom, a lot more sort of detail going on. Uh, the ferns are uh, detailed and have shading and so on. Um, and the inside's done, but you can't really see what's going on. That's why I like to take nighttime photos. Again, to remind you, this is what it was supposed to look like on the outside, um, but it did change and, and that tends to happen as you're working through it. And you'll see here coming up shortly what it looks like on the finished product. Uh, and this is at night, everything's dressed on the inside, the background's in, um, the spotlights are in, and everything's finished. China's hanging and on the table, flowers, details, products from the store. And this is another angle. Again, this is blocked in after the first day. Um, it took me four seven hour days of painting to get everything all done on the outside. And that's before I started on the inside. Inside, it took me probably another 10 to 15 hours to dress everything. And here, here's a first day painting. You can see some of the detail going in, but if you notice on the left side, there's a tree that's not still blocked white and I didn't get to, and I didn't get everything you know, done on the tree. There's a lot more detail work that went into this. Here it is um, finished and the inside starting to get dressed, but it's not done. Um, there's nothing on the table. The background's not in, and uh, there's just a lot more work to do here. And this is all finished. Backgrounds in, teacups, china on the table, flowers. Uh, the stand on the left has uh, some, some stuff on it. I've added product into it, um, but this is the finished product. This is the other side, the Red Queen's window. I knew I wanted to do bleeding hearts and rose trees but I wasn't really sure um, exactly what I was gonna do. And the Bleeding Hearts I have upside down for some reason, um, but it was just a quick sketch to give me an idea of what I wanted to do. This is uh, blocked in with the white interior paint again. Uh, this window, I finished the other window before I really got going on this window. You can see the rose tree and the Bleeding Hearts blocked in. Uh, this is daylight photo finish. It's a, a strange angle, but you can see the corner and the rose bush is done. Uh, the bleeding hearts are done. And there's a better photo coming up here for you to take a look at here in a second of what it looks like. Uh, this is at night. Um, not quite done, but almost done. Again, you can see that the rose bushes are done. The bleeding hearts are done. Um, the inside is basically fully dressed. There were a few finishing touches I wanted to do on this one. And then this is the other angle of that window. Again, first day blocked in with white rose bush. I went back in with a razor blade and kind of cut some of this down. Uh, I thought it was too thick. It looked a little bulky on the bottom. Um, and, and this is a daylight photo of that finished window. Um, you can see that tree is a little narrower. The branches are a little narrow towards the top. Um, everything colored in, some highlighting going on. And this is at night, again, so you can see the inside of the window. This is a progress photo because you can see the red hearts aren't in the background yet um, on the boxwood. And uh, some, of the, some things changed. The spotlights weren't exactly right. Um, so this changed a little bit. And this is completely done. I know some of it's subtle and you probably can't tell the difference, but um, that's what it looks like. Completely done with the boxwood and the red rose wreaths in the background. Um, angles have changed a little bit on the mannequins. Again, this is the line drawing to remind you what uh, the plan was. 
Um, and I got the bleeding hearts right when it's finished. Uh, there will be another photo here coming up to show you that. And that's finished uh, from the from the outside, sort of the same angle. You can see the bleeding hearts, um, the rose trees, the cards hanging in the window, um, some product put in the window, uh, everything blocked out, lighted, spotlighted. So there you go. And that's how I do a window. Thanks so much.